ministry, you have to have a love uh, to endure because the hours are tough. It's not an eight to five job. Sometimes we put in 12, 14 hours a day. We loved it. We loved what we did. And uh, we love to see the new generation take over and keep it going. We've seen it change, especially over the last five or six years, to more of a weddings and event business. And so we're just trying to keep up with that and carry the right products and hopefully uh, keep our customers happy and coming back. There's all different walks of life and it's, it's just very enjoyable working with all the people that are, at the, that are in this industry. It's, it's a great industry. I feel very proud to be part of this company. I'm very grateful. It's uh, an extended part of my family. We went down with our parents when we were very small, seven, eight years old. We started. Our kids, after we grew up, came down also. The thing is to be happy and uh, flowers is a happy thing. When you see flowers, you're always content. I started coming down here with my father when I was probably about eight or ten years old. And I've been doing this ever since. I think one of my lasting memories of the market was the day after the 1989 earthquake here. I just remember coming back the next morning, coming to a, a place where there was no power. Uh, it was dark in the middle of the night, basically. And uh, the air was still very still and warm. And I just remember thinking, oh, the flowers are just going to be ruined because we had no power here. But coming to the main door of the market itself and just the visual that I saw of all the candles that were lit and placed throughout the market and the lanterns that were hanging off the rafters of the vendors that were here selling flowers. It was just an amazing sight just to see the persistence of the business, of the uh, dedication of our vendors to sell the flowers and to see the customers taking cartloads of flowers out of here this day right after a major uh, natural disaster here in the city. Uh, business goes on, life goes on here at the market. My favorite memory of the market is when I was a young kid coming down to the market with my parents and getting to run up to the restaurant and getting my donuts and my hot chocolate milk and running back and also I remember we used to sleep as young kids we used to sleep inside the tables. Uh, they have a door that opens up and uh, my dad would tell me you could go to take a nap. But this was when I was you know um, 25, 30. <laughs> <laughs> 15, uh, 12 years old, 10 years old. And of course, what's happening today, I think, are very good memories, too. We're, we're having a good time here now. We don't worry about the little things anymore. We've, we're beyond that. Started coming down here when I was probably 14, cutting high school, coming up with Daryl Torchio before Torchio Nursery existed. We would, um, I would drive up with him, work all night, he would give me $20 or a bunch of roses and I'd be happy. And they used to be located in the um, main San Francisco Flower Mart. And we were next to Union City Greenhouses. And Warren Hayashi was the, the owner and grower there. And now his daughter works with us. We've been working together for a number of years now. Things have changed. We're now Torchio Nursery. So a lot of learning in the last 20, 25 years. It's all because of the markets being here and the availability of the space and the, the people it draws and good co-workers. So happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. You look at this and, and uh, I think of my, my father and the gentleman that I bought, the, my father competitor, and I look back and I, and I said, boy, you know, if, if I would have thought that I was in it for 41 years after I took over from my dad and I'm saying, Hey, the market's here, and, it, and it's part of the city. A lot of people have come here for tours and so forth. And uh, it, it's just, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see that it's, it's here, and it's for everyone to enjoy. So I'm third generation in the flower business, so I've been here since the day it opened in the, in the 50s. In fact, I was here the day with the mayor, Mayor Christopher, opened the market. It was quite a thing in those days to open a facility this size because it was not very many like it in the United States. And it has evolved from that. The California flower market has added the annex to it. 
and business has stayed pretty stable. It's changing, but it's, it's still a good business. I think one of the great changes that we've had here at the market is the evolution of going from a grower's market to becoming more of a wholesale market. Uh, from a market having a local source of flowers from just the immediate San Francisco Bay Area to being a market that handles product with a global supply of flowers. Uh, the seasonality of flowers is still there, but the availability is year-round. But historically, the market was from the grower to the retail florist. And so the market was a place for the growers to sell their products. We were integrated before that was such a thing. We had the Chinese market, we had the Japanese market, and the Italian market. The growers, in turn, were immigrants from different parts of the world and trying to make a go in this new country of theirs. It was difficult in those days because of language barriers, but we all grew different products and uh, we got along. We had to get along to survive in this business anyway, so. Uh, just today, we're down to just a handful of growers that are left of Japanese-American descent here at the market and it still presents itself as something, and it's just proof that we've set up a market that will uh, exist beyond the original uh, founders of this market. Talking about the characters of the market, uh, the old time vendors like Sam Sakai of course and Min Shinoda, they were wonderful characters of the market that really operated here and really had knowledge of the market. Min Shinoda, he used to come in and Bob allowed him to smoke in the office. <laughs> so he'd come in and lean on the counter and his cigarette ash was about two inches long and it would just hang and I was waiting for it to drop into the typewriter or something, but it never did. It was amazing. <laughs> Nobody warned me about Min and he came into the market office before I even knew who he was and he leaned over the side and he told me something I could never repeat. But <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> so of course there's Bob. Um, Bob and I have worked together over 20 years off and on and stayed friends over the years. Bob's been a great mentor for me and um, he really, really cares about this market and it's, it's nice to be with, working with somebody who really, who really cares so much about it, where he works and it's really and the it industry. rubs off on the, and yeah. the industry yeah. and it rubs off on, on the staff and um, it's it's a nice positive work environment. It's wonderful how the market itself is like we're all family. No matter what nationality we are, we're all family and uh, we, we show a lot of love. Congratulations, a hundred years. Wow, how wonderful. I think I've been here a hundred years too, but oh, much, much success. Thank you very much. Happy anniversary, Flower Market. <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy Flower, birthday Flower, market. Flower Market. Happy anniversary, California Flower Market. I just want to say happy birthday to the California Flower Market, and I'm representing the fourth generation uh, of Nevis to be down here in this market. Happy 100th anniversary, and I've been lucky to be here for at least 56 of us, <laughs> and I'm still here kicking. This is a great privilege to congratulate all my Japanese friends on their 100th anniversary. Happy anniversary to the flower market. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, California Flower Market. Happy, happy anniversary, anniversary California, California Flower Market. market. Right, you say happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. 100 <laughs> years. And I was there. I was there that June day. We wish everyone uh, in the flower business or anyone that's going to come into the flower business the best of luck and the best blessing to all of you. And the, so ones, the, and the ones that make it, God bless you, because you've worked very hard to keep going and keep what you keep have. Keep the industry going. Keep it going. This is fantastic.